Okay, so right now we're gonna do um, a gearbox adaptation, transmission adaptation on my Audi A4 all-road. It uses the latest gearbox applied for that model. Um, so we need the first thing we need uh, to do is to make sure that the gearbox, uh, the fluid is uh, uh, up to the proper temperature, which is supposed to be 40 degrees Celsius. We're going to go to auto transmission, wait for it. Also make sure the transmission has no error codes. The need, transmission needs to be error codes free, like this. So what we need to do is, uh, we're going to go to advanced measuring and ATF temperature, 44 degrees. Go to basic settings. So what we need to do next is go to... Uh, Erase counter for start stop procedures. Hit go. It's gonna say running, not running, or maybe it says completely completed. So now you can hit stop. Go back. I always like to go back. You can probably stay in the menu. That's that's no problem. It's up to you. This the first step was key on engine off. Uh, now the second step is engine on. So we need to go to calibration of uh, clutch uh, clutch valves and then we hit go the car will rev up as you can hear probably it revs up about 200 rpms more mine stays at about uh, 1200 rpms a little a little less actually uh, once this is done, we're going to move to step 3, but we'll keep the engine on. I'm going to let the, the whole process go so you, so you see exactly how much time it took. I don't want to shorten the video or fast, fast forward it. Normally this doesn't take that long. And it's done. Finished correctly. This is very important. So we hit stop. Now as always I want to hit done, go back and then come back again. Engine is on. So now we go to calibration of distance sensors. Now with this the gearbox will start making some noises. probably hear them. I'm gonna be stay, staying quiet so you can hear how it shifts through the gears. You feel a little bit of movement shaking in the car also. That's normal. Once it's done, hopefully, it will say finish correctly. There we go. Now we can hit stop, go back, and we can turn off the car. After this, we keep the car contact on. So the next thing we want to do is go back to basic settings, and we're going to look for reset start point adaptation to factory settings. Hit go. Then it uh, says finish correctly. And next, we'll hit stop, we'll stay there. But we will power on the car. Now we will, uh, once this uh, step number four is saying that it's correct, we're gonna start the car. Adaptation of clutch kiss points. And hit go. There's not running, then running. And 
and once the step uh, completes hopefully it will say finish correctly and the adaptation is gone and we can drive the car now hit stop now after we have completed uh, the five steps we go to advanced measurement and just clutch and we need those two points here uh, point one and point two we need to drive the car so that's about it I've powered, all, powered off the car that's why you see the not available but uh, that's that's all there is it's a good thing to just key on the car see if uh, if you have any um, any error codes um, so the transmission there should be no fault codes no fault codes so from this point on I just have to drive the car until it adapts itself That's all. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please thumbs up and...